Hi everybody, my name is Matt Elliott. Welcome to Guarantee RV Super Centers. I'm here today to show you a great trailer from Coachman. This is a Freedom Express 192 RBS and it's a really cool little trailer. I think you'll like it. It's not too big, but it's got some big features. Follow me. And a nice big grab handle so it's easy to get in. So, this is a, a Everybody's goal is to get a trailer that's small, that's light, that has a queen walk around bed and a slide out. And guess what? This trailer has all that stuff. So first of all, let's take a look. You can see here we've got a queen bed. Now, normally when you want a queen bed, you're going to get, and especially if you want to slide, you're going to just get a bigger trailer. This trailer is just not big at all. And yet it's got plenty of room. So it's very open, and part of the reason it's open is because the bathroom's at the very back. Now's a really good time to point out as you look in here, we got some new colors, finally. I'm so excited to see some lighter interiors. This kind of mimics the color of an ash type of tree. It's not so dark cherry or black walnut, and it's real pretty, but it's a lot lighter. What we have here is we have a TV that's going to swivel out and articulate so we can point it toward our seating area, our cooking area, or the bed. So you can watch TV from bed. It's got a home theater system. It'll do all the cool things that stereos and, and home theater systems do nowadays, include connect to your phone with Bluetooth. This galley is fantastic. We've got a new kind of stove that I really like that has a flush lid so when I'm not cooking, that's counter space, right? It's also got a neat little oven, and it's even got a clear glass door. You know, you never can see your stuff when you're camping. This has a, this has a little door, so you can look through and see how your pizza's doing. This is a really cool feature here. We've got a drawer that's designed to go around the plumbing, and that's dynamite. And then we got a great big sink. Now this sink is a, is a material, it's a new kind of material. It's called stone cast, and it's been around for a few years. Coachman has some great technologies, and this sink is one of them. That material is really durable. And also, I want to show you this countertop. So, normally when you look at a small trailer like this, you'll see a Formica countertop with a little bit of T-molding that goes around the edge here. That T-molding always wants to pop out, especially near the corners, and food debris and particles and moisture can get in behind the T-molding, and then it can soak into your counter material, into the, into the lumber that's underneath there, and eventually you can have you know, some delamination or some swelling or separation in your countertop. Also, you kind of become a farmer. You start growing stuff in there. So this is all solid one piece, and it's a formed countertop. There's no T-molding. There's no place for gunk to go or be, and all also, too, it's lightweight and it won't warp or separate. So they've really put a lot of thought into the, the materials used in this coach, and that's one of the reasons that you buy a Coachman. They've been around over 50 years. They're well known for their qualities. They're such a good product that Forest River bought the whole darn company. So there's a lot of good things. I carry almost everything Coachman builds. Now, what we have here is a sofa, and, you know, there's some nice windows. This will flip down and make a a couch bed so even though it's a small trailer it'll easily sleep a family of four. If we look in here we've got a dynamite bathroom and the first thing you'll notice is how light it is, how bright it is because they put a nice big skylight here and you know no problem for headroom. People a lot taller than me can take a shower in here. It has a porcelain toilet, it has a nice medicine cabinet and a sink and you know it's funny a lot of times today if you look at old, uh, little trailers the kind of the ultralight ones, a lot of them don't have a bathroom sink in them, so people are coming out looking for that. It also has a nice big refrigerator freezer. It's got two door style, so you've got plenty of freezer space and fridge space. And then it's got these nice cabinets up here, so you carry a lot of stuff in there. And you've got some pantry space back over here. So that's good. The other thing that's kind of neat on this trailer, no, nobody's really got this, it's got a garbage can. It's got a built-in place so you have a place to put your garbage. I have a little RV and I, I'm always wrestling around with a bucket trying to figure out where I'm going to put it, so I like that. Let's take a look outside. Now the first thing I want you to know, I want you to come this way because I'm going to swivel you around to show you something. So 
This has a special kind of construction in the sidewall. This is an all aluminum frame trailer. It even has aluminum roof trusses. So you don't have to worry about lumber materials. Uh, sometimes people are concerned about what would happen if lumber gets wet. If you ever get a water leak in this trailer, which hopefully you won't with any kind of proper care, but if you did, the roof trusses are made of aluminum and that structure isn't going to be damaged. But in the sidewalls where it's laminated together, normally there's wood in there too. They've replaced that wood with a material called Asdel. And Asdel is a composite material that's waterproof and it's not biodegradable. So what that means is it can't absorb any water and therefore it can't kind of break down and deteriorate and then expand when it gets hot. This is what wood does inside a superstructure when you see a trailer that has delamination. That's what causes that. This stuff isn't like wood. It won't do that. It doesn't have any place for water to be. It's not going to do that. I think that's fantastic. It's a great technology. Now, as we walk around this way, one thing I really like about this trailer, it does have a slide. But it's not a very big one, and so that means that I can put this slide out even in really tight places. When your trailer is in your driveway and you have to put out three feet of slide out, it can take away your whole parking area. So this in the driveway is small. When I get into a goofy little campsite and there's some trees I have to jockey around, this only goes out about a foot and a half. It doesn't take a lot of space, so you can put it all the way out. And you know what? If you ever had to use it with the slide in, it doesn't cover anything. You can use everything in the trailer, whether the slide's in or out. Got nice alloy wheels down here. So they look great. And also I want to point out, this has a nice dark tinted glass. Um, that's how you keep the trailer cool inside and that's how you limit sun damage to your interior materials. This is a great idea. Look through here. Got a massive front storage area. Plenty of room for everything you want. They thought up a nice idea on this one. This trailer has the spare tire located up under the tongue jack. So when you say I want a trailer that's short and then you add a foot of spare tire to the back, that doesn't make sense. It's a great idea to put it here. Also, it's got a power tongue jack. And I want to point out that the front end of this trailer is, a, is an enclosure. This is not um, a typical fiberglass front. This is, this is an, uh, like a, uh, an end cap. And what that does is it prevents weathering and damage to the front of the trailer and it makes it a little more aerodynamic and it won't delaminate the way that you see. Sometimes you'll see a trailer with a fiberglass front end where it's all puckery and looking a little bit weathered. This won't do that. So that's very, very good. It has a diamond and plate rock guard too to keep damage to the minimum. Something I want you to see also is that they've gone to a magnetic uh, holder for your cabinet doors. You ever see the little plastic clips and people grab them and they break them all the time? This up there makes it real nice. So good access. Another thing here, this is a great feature. We now have portable solar panels. In the old days, solar panels had to be installed to the roof and wired through the trailer. They were quite expensive because of all the labor involved. Then when you wanted to sell your trailer, they went with the trailer because they were built in. Now we've got, per, por, uh, <laughs> we've got portable solar panels. So we could plug them in here and use them and, and then we could take them and use them somewhere else. We can use them on our car or down on our boat. And I, can, I, I just love that. Plus you don't have so many holes in your roof. It's a great idea. Another kind of cool little detail on this, these guys decided it'd be great if you could take a gas grill and they even put a place for you to put it. So they, that comes with the Coleman grill. That's a nice deal. Uh, also, it has a power awning, has outside speakers. There's that cool LED light strip under the awning so you can really light up your campsite with that. And there's, you know, there's even more to talk about on this trailer. I hope you have some interest in it. If you, if you want to learn more about it or come and see it in person, just give me a call. My name's Matt Elliott, and you can reach me at 541-954-8495. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you liked it. Have a great day.